Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to explain the different pipe drive pricing options and the add-ons you can attach to your pipe drive subscription. And so I think this video is really useful for anyone who is still in their pipe drive trial and you're not sure which subscription to get, or maybe you're on uh, one of the lower subscriptions, you're thinking about maybe upgrading and you want to choose the right subscription for you to make the cost fit with your budget. If you're interested in getting some one-on-one -on -one help with Pipedrive, setting up or optimizing your account, automating your sales process, or maybe even training your team on how to be more efficient with Pipedrive, then click the link in the description below. We are also an authorized reseller of Pipedrive. And so if you choose to work with us and get help with Pipedrive, you can purchase your Pipedrive subscription through us. As an authorized reseller, we get some margins. So we can often give slightly better pricing and deals than what's available on Pipedrive's website. So click the link in the description below to get in touch and learn more about those support options. So here we are on the pricing page on the Pipedrive website. Now it goes without saying, I'm recording this as of June, 2023. This pricing may change, the details and the features in these plans may change at any time. Now, there are two components to your Pipedrive subscription. The first is you can choose the plan or the subscription you want to pay for the main CRM. And the plan that you choose comes, they come with kind of more and more features, obviously the uh, more expensive plan that you get. So we'll talk about that in a sec. There are also optional add-ons that you can add on top of this Pipedrive subscription. So in order to use Pipedrive, you have to subscribe to one of these plans, but these add-ons, these are all optional. So you can add these additional features if you need them. And I really like this because it gives you a lot more flexible uh, flexibility in terms of paying for only the features that you need. For example, you can buy the campaigns add-on. If you want to be able to send marketing emails uh, and, and send, yeah, just those marketing material through Pipedrive to your subscribed contacts, you can add on campaigns and you pay for the number of subscribers in your account. But if you've already got a different tool, maybe you use something like MailChimp or ConvertKit like me for your email, then you don't need this. So that's quite nice because you can kind of customize Pipedrive and pay for what you need and you're not paying for too much and all these features that you don't use. So let's start by talking about the different subscription levels. So there are five different options here and you, when you choose your subscription, you also have to choose if you want to bill annually, which is, this is the annual pricing here. You can see it's uh, slightly cheaper than if I switch this to monthly. Obviously the monthly pricing as with most, CRM, uh, most CRMs and also most software products out there, monthly pricing tends to be more expensive. Starting with the essential plan here, it starts at $21.90 per user per month if you bill monthly or $14.90 per user per month if you pay upfront for the year. So just as a quick example, if you pay monthly for let's say five users, you're gonna pay $109.50 per month which would equate to about $1,314 per year. So what do you get with the essential plan? Well, the essential plan includes all the essentials, as you can expect. So it's gonna allow you to add in your contacts, you can manage uh, everyone in your database, you can create custom fields, you can add labels to them so you can segment your contacts into different groups and segments. You can create your sales pipelines, you can customize the stages and put fields on there. And if you really just need a simple CRM for tracking the different sales opportunities that you have in your funnel right now, and you wanna kind of move them through those stages, if you want some basic reporting, then great. The Essential Plan is a really good option. And of course, it's the cheapest option. So if you are on a tighter budget, definitely the one to go with. Next, we have the advanced plan. This is $27.90 per user per month if you bill annually, or $37.90 per user per month if you go with their monthly pricing. In terms of what you get with the advanced plan over and above the essential, number one is email sync. This is definitely kind of one of the main selling points is you can then connect your Microsoft, your Gmail, or any IMAP supported email to Pipedrive. That's gonna give you the ability to then send emails using templates from within the Pipedrive system. It makes following up with those deals and leads much quicker. You can also use the group emailing capabilities. So if you've got 10 or 20 uh, 
uh, deals in the same stage, you might send a group follow-up to all of them and you can personalize those emails. So that's a really nice uh, additional benefit with the advanced plan. You also get access to the workflow automation capabilities. So if you'd like to automate more of your sales process, and for example, when you move a deal from one stage to the next, maybe you want to trigger an email to be sent automatically, or maybe you want to automatically assign an activity to somebody on your team, that's the type of thing that you can do with the workflow builder. The advanced plan is usually the one that I recommend for most people, unless you're really on a tight budget, in which case I say go with the essential. But really, because you do get that email sync with the advanced plan, I think it really does help you to save a lot of time on your follow-ups. So that's why I usually recommend go with the advanced plan if you're new to Pipedrive and not sure where to start. There are some other smaller differences between Essential and Advanced, and if you want, you can click here to see all the features uh, compared side by side if you wanna go through and see exactly what you get on each plan. I'm just kind of talking through the major differences uh, for now. So we've got Asan, uh, Essential Advanced. Next, we have Professional, which starts at $49.90 per user per month if you bill annually, or it gets up to $59.90 per user per month with that monthly pricing. As you can see here, the professional is the most popular plan. It's usually what people upgrade to. Maybe if you've started on Essential or Advanced and you're looking to do a little bit more with Pipedrive, professional tends to be the most popular. Now, a couple of things you get with professional that you don't get on these earlier plans. Number one is you get better reporting and revenue forecasting. So you get more dashboards and you can actually forecast and project your future revenue, which I really like that in particular. You also get document and contract management and e-signatures. This is actually the uh, Smart Docs add-on. So this add-on down here, Smart Docs, this allows me to create document templates in Pipedrive for things like contracts, quotes, invoices, things like that. And I can create documents and populate them with the names and details from my deals. And then I can even, want, if I want to, send that to be digitally signed for. Now, if I get the essential or advanced plan, I would have to add this on to my subscription. It would be $32.50 for the company per month if I bill annually, or $39 for the company per month if I bill monthly. However, if I get that professional plan, I get the smart docs included for free. I don't have to pay that additional monthly fee. So depending on the number of users in your account, but if you are looking at getting that add-on, it may actually be more cost-effective to just get the professional subscription. I do just want to get into the details a little bit with this one. Um, there are some particularly useful features on the professional plan that I like as well. Number one is required fields. So if I set up custom fields in my account, if I try and move a deal from one stage to the next, I can force my team and my sales reps to fill that in in order to progress the deal. You can also create formula fields to have fields perform calculations, great for calculating things like commissions. I can also customize what pipelines those fields appear on, and I can customize the deal card view on the main pipeline page. So those things I find, yeah, particularly useful, definitely one of the draw cards of that professional plan. The professional plan also comes with an automatic assignment feature. So when I have leads or deals coming into my account, I can automatically assign those using different uh, logic. So for example, if a lead is within a particular region or territory, I could assign that to a specific salesperson on my team. As I mentioned before, you get better revenue and subscription uh, reporting on the professional plan, and you get more team management capabilities. So this is really a key selling point of the professional plan is if you have a larger team, you need to group people into different teams, especially if you also want to manage the visibility and permissions of those teams separately. You can see down here, we've got three teams and three uh, custom visibility groups here and two permission sets on the professional plan. If you are managing a larger number of users and you need to control access a bit more sort of finely, then the professional plan is probably the one to go with. Next up, we have the power plan. Now, at the time of recording, this is actually a brand new plan. It starts at $64.90 per month if you bill annually, and it goes up to $74.90 per month if you bill monthly. And that's, again, the per user pricing. It comes with uh, a lot of the same features of the professional plan, plus one big extra benefit is you get project management. 
Now, again, this is one of the add-ons down here. You can add on this projects feature. This is an additional $6.70 per user per month if you bill annually, or $8 per user per month if you bill monthly. So if you're on the essential, advanced, or professional plan, and you would like that project management add-on, you do have to pay for it on top of your main subscription. Or if you, a lot of your people, uh, a lot of the people in your account are gonna need access to projects, you might run the numbers and find that the power plan is actually the better option because it comes with that project's access at no additional cost. The power plan also comes with some phone uh, support and extra support from Pipedrive. And the other main difference is if I come down to the bottom here, you can see all of the plans come with some limits in terms of the number of open deals you can have. So you can see here 3,000, 10,000, 100, and 200,000 is the number of open deals you can have. To be honest, it's very rare that we've seen clients reach these open deal limits. You have to be doing some serious volume to hit these numbers. But if you do need up to 200,000 open deals, that would be a reason to get the power plan. Also, you can see there are limits in terms of the number of custom fields, reports, and dashboards that you can create. So if you're on the professional and you, find, you, you are finding you are hitting your limit in terms of the number of custom fields and reports you can set up, that may be a reason to upgrade to the power plan there is to get those additional fields and reports. You can see there are also some similar limits to the number of automations and um, the number of teams, visibility groups, and custom permission sets. So this, the power plan is definitely better for larger teams. If you find that the number of teams here, three on the professional plan, or the number of visibility groups or custom permission sets, if you're finding that's not quite enough for your larger team, then again, I would be suggesting you go with that power plan. And then finally, we have the enterprise plan, which starts at $99 per user per month if you bill annually, or $119 per user per month if you bill monthly. Now, what you get with the enterprise plan is some additional uh, security preferences. If you want to be able to force your team to enable two-factor authentication, if you want to get alerts for suspicious activity, there are uh, some additional security preferences. And really, you also get completely unlimited amount of open deals, custom fields, reports, dashboards, automations, teams, <laughs> custom visibility groups, custom permissions. It really is uncapped, the maximum amount of all of that that you ever would need. To be honest, not many of the clients we work, we work with um, get the enterprise plan, but if you need that completely unrestricted access and capabilities, that would be the option to go with. So those are the different subscription plans that are available. And like I said, every user that you want to have access to Pipedrive will need a seat and you need to have one of these plans. Now, a question I always get is, can I have different users on different plans? For example, can I be on professional and can somebody on my team be on advanced? Unfortunately, as of right now, everyone on the team does need to be on the same subscription level. Next, we have the different add-ons that you can add on to the different plans to uh, increase the functionality and to add additional features to your account. So firstly, we have the Lead Booster add-on, which starts at $32.50 for the company per month if you pay annually, or $39 for the company per month if you bill monthly. And Lead Booster includes uh, five different features. Firstly, you can create a chatbot. So if you want to greet visitors on your website and have a chatbot greet them and book calls and direct them to different places, you can customize that. You can create a live chat interface to, for directly interfacing and connecting with your web visitors. You can use the prospector. If you want to set up the target demographics of the types of leads you want to reach and, and, and uh, prospect to, you can then um, add those leads into your account. You can then use web forms and you can embed a web form on your website in place of a contact form. So if people go to your site to inquire uh, about your services, they can fill in that form and that can then land in your uh, Pipedrive leads inbox or your deal pipeline. And then it also comes with a scheduler. So if you want to send somebody your availability and have them schedule calls with you, all of that functionality comes with the lead booster add-on. Web visitors is an add-on where uh, starting at $41 for the company per month if you bill annually or $49 for the company per month if you bill monthly. 
The Web Visitors add-on allows you to add a um, bit of code to your website where you can track what pages people are visiting. So when you've got leads going to your site, you can see what pages are they going on, spending time on, so we can sort of qualify them and, and then follow up with the right leads that are more interested in our service. Campaigns, I mentioned before, the pricing for campaigns is really dependent on the number of subscribers in your account. And this is basically Pipedrive's marketing add-on. So if you want to be able to send newsletters to engage your customers or to reach out to leads, if you want to create nurture campaigns and send emails with your company branding and logos, you can do that using the campaigns add-on. As I mentioned, we also have smart docs and projects. So smart docs, as I mentioned before, allows you to create um, custom quotes, contracts, invoices, and you can then fill those using information from your deal. You can send those documents to be digitally signed. Remember, smart docs comes free with professional. And then finally, projects, if you want to do project management in Pipedrive. So after you win a deal, you can have a project pipeline where you can create a project using a template. You can then have tasks that you use to manage what needs to be done to fulfill you know, the delivery of your product or service. So you can do project management in the same system where you do your sales. And again, that comes free with the power plan. So that is a little look at the pricing options in Pipedrive. Of course, I'm biased, but I believe that for the pricing, especially if you look at the pricing of other CRMs by comparison, I think for the power and functionality that you can get with a tool like Pipedrive, I would say the pricing is very good value. I also like that flexibility. You can upgrade anytime and you can also add on those additional add-ons if you just need one or two extra features but you don't want to be forced to upgrade your entire user base to that next tier you can just add on things like projects or smart docs if you need that if you're new to pipe drive you're not sure where to start i usually recommend starting about that advanced level so you've got the email sync capabilities but look at potentially upgrading to professional later so that you unlock the more advanced reporting especially that revenue forecasting i find very useful as well if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.